Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta, learn local storage by building a to-do app, step 18. All right. So now we're going to create a div element with the class of task. We're going to utilize template strings. They're talking about uh, embedded expressions here. I don't know why they said that, but whatever. Uh, to set the ID attribute of the div to the ID we destructured from the task data. All right. So yeah, we'll start off by making a div element. So we'll say div like this, dive, div, and then a closed div, all right? And inside this, we're gonna give it the class, class equals, and then we'll have task in between these, task like that. Now we're gonna give it the ID equals, and inside this is where we're gonna do the embedded expression. So we'll do, um, the embedded expression like that with a dollar sign and the two uh, curly braces, and we'll say ID, right? So this ID right here is this ID right here, right? Uh, and they also, you'll see right here, they've also uh, wrapped this thing up in parentheses and they got rid of our semicolon that we did in the last one. I'm pretty sure, actually I'm 100% sure, this is just a personal style thing for whoever made this. Honestly, I would never do that myself. But whatever, you know, some people call uh, embedded expression template strings. That's how you got to remember. That's how fresh and new programming is. Nobody can. It's not like calculus where a function is a function and a derivative and, a, and an integral, you know, because Isaac Newton and all that stuff hundreds of years ago, you know, it's been solid. This is all still uh, coming out as we speak. So, you know, they nobody's really 100 percent sure what everything's called. That being said, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 19 and we'll see you next time.